Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crochet's Creed, and today there will be no pattern because I'm going to be showing you all of the failed projects that I have made um, since I first started crocheting, uh, just to help people out and let people know that everything you make isn't going to always turn out the proper way. And, on, and in these, are, there are a lot of projects that I wanted to make for my channel that didn't turn out uh, right at all. So <laughs> you're going to see a lot of those. And please don't make fun of me. <laughs> okay. So, well, let's get started, I guess. Okay. Now, I know that you guys have seen um, the um, Lady Geisha from The Little Nightmares and the gnome creature, which is probably one of my favorite projects that I've made. But I've also made two other projects from that uh, game, but they didn't turn out right. Now, if you guys watch uh, Little Nightmares, I'm not to set that properly, but if you guys watch Little Nightmares, there's the janitor, and he has a wrapped up face, and he's super creepy, and it's a bit unnerving. And um, I tried to make him. Now, his face is... How will I do this? Let me see. His face is a bit unrecognizable, as you can see. I, like, I put a nose, tried to do, like, a magic circle. You know, I think his face looks, uh, all right. And then his head, you know. And then, you know, his jacket, his little, you know, jacket and that. And, but this is the janitor. And I think he looks okay, but I didn't like him enough to, um, I didn't like him enough to, um, make him as a project so I mean if you like him I could uh I don't remember the pattern either usually when I mess it up I don't keep the pattern I throw it away so even if you did like it I'm not sure how I made him but I made the janitor he was probably one of my favorite characters from how creepy he was I actually made three sorry and then you remember the chef you know that it would always grab um what was her name I forgot oh my gosh this is the chef this one looks sort of funny <laughs> this is the chef now you know it's okay you know uh this is a chef um i like the chef because he would scream and then he'd chase after her it was really really creepy i tried to make his um his uh what is this called apron but it didn't work out as you can see he's missing an arm too uh I just glued his arms on. You know, it doesn't look that great, but I made the chef. That was a failed one as well. Um, and then I tried to make, I forgot her name, but, you know, I forgot her name. I'm sorry. I tried to make her. Now, look at her legs, you know, it's just not. <laughs> okay, but I didn't make her properly again. She's really tiny. I had problems with the hood, too. And her legs, I used um, thread. This is like a threading instead of actual yarn. I mean, it looks okay, but I tried to get the hood over her head because you can really never see her face, but it just didn't turn out right. So I believe... No, no, no. Sorry, I have them all stacked up here. Um, now, I showed you the janitor, the... Um, the chef, you know, those are, those are all failed attempts. And then these are actually what I do. What I like to do is, um, make a practice round of the pattern that I want to do. Because when I used to record my videos, I used to make the pattern, you know, in that time, I wouldn't have a pattern. I would make it, I would think it up or make it up as I went along which why there were so many cuts and stuff, and that wasn't working out for me. So I would get a thing of yarn that, you know, I didn't really feel like using or didn't have anything to use it for, and I would practice. And this is the first practice one that I did of the Lady Geisha. Um, I thought I'd throw that in there, too, just in case. But this is the practice of Lady, Ge Lady Geisha, but she doesn't have a head, of course. So I believe that's all of Little Nightmares. Now I'm going to move these. These are all failed attempts. And something else I 
I know people do is you unravel it but also when you glue stuff on it's a bit hard to unravel and the yarn can get you know it can be a waste after a while because I usually glue on my stuff um but I'll try to preserve it because this is a lot of stuff now my next one I should do is hmm sands now this is the first sands that I ever made show everything here this is the first sands i ever made now again i practiced it was a practice round this is blue yarn instead of white oh it matches my little thing but it's a blue yarn instead of white i tried to do a smile you know but in my original uh video it i don't have uh he doesn't have the smile because i don't think it looks natural but this is the first sands that i ever made um not necessarily a fail but i didn't really like it that much either which is why i made the second one but that was my sands. And I also tried to make papyrus. <laughs> I tried to make them for my nephew, but um, they didn't turn out right. But I'm still going to show him a bit embarrassed. This is papyrus. His eyes, I feel like everything was okay up until his head. I feel like maybe if I can perfect his head, maybe I can actually tape, put it out as a tutorial. But this is papyrus. <laughs> that's papyrus. Um, I think that's it for, um, what is it? Uh, Undertale. Those are my, well, one was a, a first project of it, and the other one was a failed attempt. And then we move on to The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I have a lot of. And, um... This one is also a, it's a failed attempt and a first try. This is shock. Um, I mean, I think she looks good, I guess. But this is shock. This is shock? Yeah, this is shock. And this was my first attempt. And I don't know, maybe I think she looks a little better than the, last, the first, the final one I made. But this is shock. I made her. And then, um... I'm not going to show this one because it looks gross. But <laughs> then we also have um, Lock, which is the one of the products that I tried to, m the a failed, it was a first product and a failed product, I feel. I couldn't get the hair right. I don't know why, but I mean, the body still looks good. So this was Lock. That's him. And then I don't know why, but. I have tried making Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas so many times, and the biggest thing for me is that I don't get her lips right. I'm going to show you the first one I ever tried to make, and then I'm going to show you one, a video that I, well, a product or project that I made that I was going to put out, but I never did because I thought it looked bad. Um, and if you guys like it, then I'll put out this tutorial because I still have the pattern. Um, but I'm going to show you the first one I tried to make, and then I'm going to show you the one that I tried, that I made now, and, um, if you guys like it, I'll, I'll put out the video, if you don't, you know, just say no thanks. Now, this is supposed to be Sally, right? She looks like, this is, she looks like a chicken, actually, but I tried to do her lips, didn't work out. I still have the stitch markers in her head. I got so frustrated with this project, and that's her, like, her body. I wanted her to be as tall as, um, because she has as tall as Jack. Now, this is her. This is the first one I ever tried to make. And then I'm going to show you the one I made. Well, it's last year now, so hold on, I'll bring it back. All right, now, this is the Sally I made last year. Um, I think she looks good, honestly. But, um, you have that. And then you have, you know, that. So, <laughs> it's a vast difference, but I still didn't think it was good enough to make as a video. Which is why I just kept, um, I just made Jack by himself. But, um, if you guys do want the tutorial for this project, I can put it out. I do believe I still have the video. Hopefully I do. If not, I'll just make it again, but... This is a Sally that I made. I like it, but didn't like it enough to make it as a video. 
So, the last few projects aren't, um, those were all my, um, dolls or amigurumis, and now we're moving on to just either miscellaneous projects or, um, uh, clothing, so. Alright, so, also some of these patterns are not my own. All the, all the, um, amigurumis were all of my patterns, but some of these I want to make it clear that I did not make this. This is not my pattern. Um, I tried to follow their pattern and failed. <laughs> um, but, um, I don't remember who these, uh, why does it, whoa, why does it look so dark? I apologize. But, um, this is a, I'll link, I'll try to find the, um, the people who made this so I can link them in the description so that you can go and try to make it yourself. This is supposed to be a tablet, uh, case. And, you know, it's little, uh, flowers for the embellishment on a tablet case, but your tablet is supposed to slide directly into it. And, you know, there's the, uh, it's the bottom, you know, your tablet just slides through in there. Uh, I didn't sew my things down properly, and then it, you know, it just puffed up. That was a failed attempt. Um, and also a waste of black yarn. Um, and then I have, let me get all the ones that aren't my projects. Um, let's see. Oh, I found the other Lady Geisha. <laughs> there she is. That was my second attempt. I made her a lot of times, but it was fun making her. It's the second Lady Geisha. Um, she was underneath all this. Um, I believe the rest of these aren't, aren't my pattern. Yeah, so it's fine. Um, oh, this is my last pattern that I made. I was trying to make, I don't know if you can see that, but, um, I know that in Star Wars, there are different types of, uh, uh, what would you call them? Boba Fett? There's different types of him. He can be in different colors. And there was one, I believe, in blue. I forgot the colors. But I was trying to make a hat for him and make it the same way that Boba Fett is made, how I've made my Boba Fett hat. But instead of making it in the original colors, I would make it in the opposite colors of, you know, what whatever he looked like. And this was the hat that I had started to make, but I ended up not liking it. So I just kept it like this, which I guess I can use or unravel you know, but, um, this next one is, uh, I'm not sure what this is, I think it's, a, um, uh, I don't know what this is called, but I'm just gonna call it a shirt, but, um, this is not my, this is not my pattern or project, this is um, somebody else's, now, I really like this project, it's like a, um, what do you call this, not really a bathing suit, but, you know, you're, this is where it fits, and then the back wraps around your body, now, the only reason why I call it a failed attempt is because it doesn't fit me. But it really is pretty. I can give this to somebody. But, um, I made this one. It's really cute, though. I, I like it. It's made properly. It's just not my size. And then, um, but not saying, um, that, uh, I know the lady who crocheted it. She did fine. It was something that I did wrong. I should have made it bigger for myself, but that's okay. And then I made, um, oh, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Any guesses? <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but that's something. And then, um, now the rest of these are hats. Now there was this lady that I used to watch, uh, I don't think she makes videos anymore, but what she would do is she would start from the bottom of the beanie, and then she would go up. I remember, one, this is the first, this was one of the first uh, YouTube video, crochet videos that I watched, and I made so many hats of these for myself and other people. This is a hat I don't wear. Uh, I made it and never wore it, but this is an old project that has been in my crochet box for years. I also have, um, this one that I made like it, you know, does not look too great. Um, it doesn't fit my head either, so that would be a fail project. This one doesn't fit my head either, so it would be a fail project. Um, I can't find the other glove to this. Um, I remember who made this, Simply Hooked Crochet. I really liked her videos. And, um, 
I made it properly, but I messed up on it because it's too tight on my wrists and really loose on my hand, and it's not comfortable. And I know I messed up somewhere on it, but I still use them because they're cute. Um, and then these, I don't know what, why this is like this. I'm going to try to show this to you without it being all... Okay, now when I first started um, crocheting, my teacher really wanted us to learn how to make baby booties, which um, I feel I do not recommend for beginners because it's a lot of rows. Um, you have to, you know, you add on stitches, you all this stuff, and it's harder to learn when you don't know the basics of crocheting. I would recommend you starting out with a chain and then the single crochet and just continuing doing the single crochet, double crochet, all of the basic stitches until you're ready to actually make a project. Because this is, I almost hated crocheting for a while because it was so, the baby booty was um hard to do. This is supposed to be a shoe, but I don't know what it is. And, uh... I don't know what I was doing either. <laughs> and this is another shoe. This one's okay. It's supposed to be not a shoe, a slipper. I think it uh, looks good, too. It looks all right. And then these are the first baby booties. This is my first baby booty I ever made. My teacher actually crocheted half of it for me because I kept messing up. So that's my first baby booty I made. And... This is the baby booty that I made by myself. You know, vast difference. And then, uh, this is a, I really do love this hat, but um, it's too tight. The yarn is super taut. It's the same yarn that I use to make um, the Boba Fett Amigurumi, which is probably one of my favorite projects for the Star Wars one. But I made this hat, I like it, but... I wouldn't necessarily call it a failed project, but it doesn't really fit my head or keep my head warm. So we have that one. And in this, some people may disagree. I really enjoyed this project. It's a purse that I think... Oh, you cannot see that. Okay, hold on. Can you see that? You can't see it, I don't think. Oh, crap. Really? Oh my gosh, you can't see it. Well, why is it so dark? Hold on. Yeah, it didn't change. I'm not sure what's, what's up with the lighting, but it's a purse. And it has this flap that comes down. And you can just stick things in this flap part. Stick it in, stick stuff in the flap part. And you flap it over and you have a little button. Now, my only thing I feel like it's a fail is because I didn't sew on the straps properly. And um, it sort of overlaps the purse and it doesn't really look right. You really can't probably see this anyway, but it doesn't really look too good to me. But um, yeah, those were all of my uh, either beginner projects or failed projects. And um. I, got, I wanted to show you this because a lot of people, um, obviously everything's not going to turn out how you want it to, but I feel like it's a lot of fun going back and looking at the um, first projects that you made till now. I mean, you guys have seen my, you know, my sands, my first sands that I ever made, and then you see the sands that I made, um on my channel and you can see in um the growth in your skills after a while that's why i like keeping these projects but um after a while they also take up space and i don't know what to do with them so what i think i'm gonna do is try to unravel them and see how much yarn i can get out of them or give them to other people but that is the video for today i hope this helped made you feel better because i know Sometimes you make a project and then it doesn't go through and you feel annoyed and it's like, you know, why didn't this work? But it's okay. You've seen I, mine did not look good. Half of them did not look good at all. But, um, 
Now, I thank you for visiting my channel, and I will see you soon in a later video.